and Amherst, Massachusetts, and South Amherst Village around the South Amherst Commons. And 200 years ago, that church you're looking at, the South Amherst Congregational Church, came into existence. And the next year, in the year 1825, they built it. It had a, it would had a steeple, but they just took it off a few months ago to repair it. So it looks like it's without a steeple, but it does have a steeple, and they're going to put it back all brand new. So what I'm going to do on this tour is we're going to go around the commons, look at all the churches, libraries, schools, homes, and barns, and then walk up to the South Amherst Cemetery, which is up the street, and there we're going to look at some of the residents that lived around this area. Okay. And what we're going to try to do is highlight some of the most important features. And right next to it, to uh, its left, is a library. And that was the Munson Memorial Library. Okay, built, built about 100 years ago. It serves the population of South Amherst. So it's a satellite library of the Amherst Public Library itself. And now... It has three Cape Cod's homes in a row, and you would say, oh my goodness, that can't be historic. But they're not. They're from the 1940s and 50s. The first Cape Cod ever was 1930 on Cape Cod, right? So these three, they, but they looked the part. So they look very well. They don't really don't take away too much. There was a view there at one point, but that's gone. Now, in a great distance, there is a white house, and the white house has behind it a red barn and what you're looking at there is the Amherst poor farm right poor people would live in that house and they'd work at a farm uh, and you couldn't get away with that you had you had to work if you were poor there and <clears throat> then after that a person William Chafee bought the home and he converted it over to a functional farm for himself. And from that point, it's had several owners since that point. All right now, the commons itself is really a triangle. It's not rectangular, such as the one in the center of Amherst is. And for that reason, it has a different look. It gets very narrow at that point. And it has two streets even cutting through it, right? So travel patterns are a little bizarre for most people. All right, there's so much traffic going around. Now, the next thing I'm going to point out is the Amherst School. That is not the original South Amherst School. The original was in the front lawn of that school. And that school you're looking at was made in 1900. The original came from about the 1820s. All right, so even that is gone. Uh, it's not a school anymore, but it has a nice look to it still. All right, now then one we want to point out next it is the first structure on this commons area. And this is Jonathan Dickinson's room. And of course, it, it has a gorgeous look still. It's behind it with its original barn. Right? So it's a wonderful thing to look at. It's in the, it's in the federal style, a very plain style. But it looks, it looks the colonial look because it was made in 1760s, I believe. Gorgeous home. Now, what did his son do? What did his son do? His son built the next house along. His son built this home we're looking at. It has a beautiful view of Mount Neurotic behind it. And I, I think one of the prior owners has fooled around with the brick and painted the brick white. Bad decision. But the good thing is the paint's coming off, so slowly it's returning to its brick facade that it had. Now it has a beautiful front. We're not looking at it. We're looking at the side. And on the side gable, in the gable part, it has a beautiful uh, impediment up in that section which is great to look up at close <clears throat> then the, the back is not a barn it's painted bright red but that's an addition but it's beautiful gorgeous red color to it and 
Now, last but not least, I'm skipping some because we want to get just the very much the highlights of it all. But if we go to the next one, this is probably the third or the second one built on the commons, either one. And this house used to be um, used for family, but the family also ran a, a satellite post office out of there, and they also ran a store. And so this is kind of like a village store. And at other locations around the common, but this is where it ended up being. So a lot of things happened around here. Now, probably the most gorgeous house of all. We can't see very well from here, but it's the yellow house just to the right side of that church in the distance. Its front garden is absolutely gorgeous. And so when we go down there, it, that house was made by Elisha Smith in 1805 to that 1072 Southeast Street just to help you find it. It's absolutely gorgeous in the front lawn. And we're gonna do our tour from the commons down that Southeast Street for about a third of a mile till it reached the cemetery, the South Amherst Cemetery, and continue our tour there. All right, so I hope you got something from this introductory talk about the South Amherst uh, Commons. And if I don't see you on the tour, just watch this video, read all my text, and you'll get a good sense of what it's like. Thank you.